Come, you can do this. You can do this. You got this. You're up. You got energy. Yes, you got energy. You got no sleep, but you got energy. Okay, little explanation. I'm out here at Mead Gardens, which is a park near my house. Gonna take some pictures of some birds. So I had watched a video by a guy from Seattle. His handle is Metal for Breakfast on how to vlog. Now that vlog was, it was genius for one thing, and it was funny. So one of the things was this high energy thing, and I've been low energy. So I thought, even though I'm not getting enough sleep, I'm gonna get high energy and fix this thing. And you know what? I'm doing the southern accent thing too strong again. What is that? I can't fix it. I went and got my USB drive, and I put on Slipknot, Billy Idol, and 13th floor elevators, and I thought, man, I'm gonna get pumped, and stuck it in, and now, in addition to my CD player not working, my USB player obviously isn't working, so. This is interesting, trying to take a picture with one hand while you're looking at me. Don't look, you make me nervous. You know, I've always wanted to run over and jump down and talk to the camera, like all those other guys do. And you know what? Somehow, it feels really cool. I like it. So as I was on oh, my way over here, not listening to Slipknot, but just listening to the radio, and they were playing American Woman by the Guess Who. And that got me thinking. I forget about my life. I don't reflect much on the past. When I was a younger person, like, 17 years old. Uh, my last band, I think it was called the King's English in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Then this is 1969 or 68. Had, we had some friends that owned a kind of a teen club with a big stage and all that stuff and they were having the five Americans coming and they needed a backup band so they asked us to do it. Well I was banned from going there by my parents who were DJs Actually, I think my mom had her TV show back then. And they were like, oh, that place, there's drugs and stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, if they only knew. Balancing being the backup band for the five Americans on my parents' wishes, you can imagine who won out, won out. So played with the five Americans. So after various other misadventures that year, graduating from high school, determined to leave Lake Charles, Louisiana, going to Cocoa Beach, escaping getting into some trouble down there, coming back home, and then going to, I decided I'm going to commercial diving school. Now, you have to understand, I didn't even know which way to turn a screwdriver to tighten or loosen a screw or a bolt. But I'm gonna go to commercial diving school and be a diver, right? So, there I went. I'm in commercial diving school, all these old Navy divers and stuff. It was kind of hilarious looking back on it. I remember the, they used to tell us uh, hard hat diving. And these hard hats, that's the big hats like they have in the movies, you know, made out of brass and you got the suit on and they're like, if you blow your cuffs, that means your cuffs come undone around your arms and water's gushing in and, like, and stuff like that. It's like, if your suit turns upside down, you could drown in your helmet. It was like, if you come up too fast, be careful that you don't hit the dock. You don't want to break your helmet or something. Your suit fill up with water, and then you flip upside down, and then you drown. It's not a good thing. So I'm down there. I don't know what I'm doing. Some Something with tools that I don't understand the tools, and I can't figure out how to undo things. They'd be like, go down there, undo the bolts off of the flange, take the gasket out, come up with the gasket, show us the gasket, go back down and put it on. A, I didn't know what a flange was. B, I didn't know what a gasket was. And I wasn't really sure which way to untighten the bolts. But that's another story. So I'm down there trying to do whatever it is we had to do that day. And I think I overinflated my suit. This is a hard hat diving suit, you know, brass, the whole thing like you see in the movies. What happened was I started to rise. When you're rising, you got too much air in one of these suits, at least the old timey ones we were doing. You hit the chin button. It was called a chin button, but it was up here by your head. You hit it with your head to dump air out so that you don't rise. Well, I started rising and I'm trying to hit the I'm trying to hit the chin button and I can't do it because I'm sinking down in the suit as the suit's going up. Well, there's a funny thing about diving in air, like air bubbles. When you go up, the air expands and you go up faster. And you go up really fast. And so as my suit filled up, I'm frantically trying to hit the chin button with my head. Ooh, ooh, 
Ooh. I am coming up like a rocket. The air in my suit is expanding. My cuffs are blowing out. And I come shooting up and all I can think is, oh my God, I'm gonna hit the dock and I'm gonna die right here in diving school. And so I just ejected out of the water. It was like a whale breaching. I just shot straight out of the water. And I could see everybody up on the dock looking at me like, oh man. And it was just that, you know, you got that snapshot of everybody staring at me. And then kablooey, my cuffs are blown. I am sinking, sinking, sinking. And I'm getting water in my suit. And everybody's frantically trying to pull me up and save me from myself. Yeah, diving school was a real trip. Funny thing is, I came out the bottom of my class in the practicals where we went diving. And I came out the top of the class on the written test. So the owner at the school at graduation, I did graduate barely. He's like, you know, I'm not sure if this is for you. I mean, if you really, 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 really wanted to do it and you really tried hard, maybe you could do it, but you might want to think about it, okay, son? So I thought about it and I thought, nope, I'm not doing that. But it, it was an experience, you know? Okay, so the whole day was worth it right now. There's a bunny right in front of me. And even though I'm talking, he's about 10 feet away. He's not moving, he's just eating grass. Squirrel just popped out of the bushes. I don't think my heart's going to be the same. I thought he was after me, but he retreated. Oh my god, I've seen a bird. It's a cormorant. Trouble is, he's underwater almost all the time in this little pond, and you never know when he's going to pop up. But we'll take a shot at it. So, the cormorant came up. And he had a fish in his mouth. And the same thing happened as the day I was at Gatorland and this big bird caught a snake. I got so excited. I whipped the camera around. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. And all I got was this blur. Kind of like that. I'm frantically getting my other camera and I, it was in movie mode and I couldn't get him manually focused. I tried to switch it over and he wasn't showing up. And there you go. And there's the cormorant without a fish now. Well, folks, here we are back where we started. I'm officially pooped. All that stuff about getting high energy in the beginning of this is like whoosh, right out the window. I'm too pooped to pop. Sweaty, tired, but it was a good day. Saw a bunny. I have never seen a bunny here before. And the fact that he didn't run away made my day. Thanks for watching.